the experiment doesn't show that you can put gravity into a superposition, but um, it shows that it has um, the, I would say, the, a minimal set of properties that make it different from a classical object. And so it cannot be described by a classical field or by a classical set of numbers, which are all commuting with themselves in a way and therefore measurable at all by the same instrument. Um, and I think this is a subtle difference. Um, it is a subtle difference. Which is important to indeed, to indeed. And I think maybe to put it this way as well, to add to what uh, Chiara said, that um, uh, this is um, a necessary property to talk about superpositions. Uh, if if you didn't have this, then clearly you wouldn't even have superpositions of different space times. But to create the superposition of space times, you may need to do more. And then there is a question of whether this is really uh, feasible to do or not. So yeah. it's interesting that our experiment, if successful, wouldn't wouldn't necessarily tell you whether you could superpose these things. You would have to do another experiment to really try to prepare a superposition. 